hope it's I hope it's good where you're at. I hope things are good. I know they're getting better. That's that's one thing I do know for sure. I just feel it. Yeah, I can. I can feel it. It's it's getting better. And and you know why that is? Because more people are wanting it to get better. It's that simple and they're kind of sick and tired of the whole, you know, oh, this is this isn't so good. This sure it is. It's fine. But you know what's the, the cool thing is is that what I just said is that we more people want it to be better than it is. So it's going to get better and peaceful and calm. And if we have the technology to do everything that we've been doing in this world, you would think that we would have the common sense to, um, where's my keys? I just had them right there. The, I need the mail key. To all just have a common kind of a global consciousness of peace. Peace, 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 calm, love. I mean, love is the is really the, the essence of it all, isn't it, friends? And I talk about this quite a bit, even though I'm a I'm a logger. Uh oh, we got a package, friends. Oh, Don Clayton. Now, what is this? This looks like Wendy's coffee or something. It's for bucking. <laughs> it's right there. So, who's this? Oh, you're kidding me. I love it. Very cool. I'll put that in the back because we know what that is. Anyway, friends, we're starting our journey. Let's go. Guess where we're going? Yeah, we're going to John Lohr's The Live Edge. He's the, friends, listen. He's the guy that did our countertop, okay? It, he's the man. He is the man. He has invested his whole freaking life really on this project. Um, he's He just spent $100,000 on that machine that my freaking slab went through. The man's doing it right. He's he's doing it right and I respect him for it. I respect him big time for it. Johnny, I love you. You're a good man. We share the wood passion. The wood bugs are here. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. Anyways, I'm gonna get off the phone. Oh my goodness, feel the power of this 460. Hi, John Lohr. Hi, Buck and Billy Ray. How are you today, sir? I am considerably better than usual. And is there a reason for that, John Lohr? From from Duncan, BC, Couch and Valley, big tree guy, liking trees and things? Yes. And the sun is shining. There's but many reasons to be grateful, isn't there? I'm not in my office. I'm out here in the yard. Yeah. And thank you for the call, John. Uh, friends, I'm just riding Johnny, giving him a hard time. I got a call yesterday. Uh, whatever it was, this gentleman here. Power saw Rob. Power saw Rob. He works with John, as you guys all know. We came down. They did my my live edge countertop, which was amazing. Friends, we, we got these pieces of wood. Now, I'm not gonna go into the story right now about who perhaps planted this tree and, and w what it is right now. I will get into that. This is an amazing, an amazing piece of wood. It's English walnut, correct, John? 
That's what I believe. Yes, we believe. And so what would be the other options in the walnut family? Black walnut and a common walnut. Is that correct? I don't know. What's a common walnut? Well, a common walnut might be this. I think that's this. Is, is because the common walnut, I think, is, was English common. There was a couple, three names for it. Yeah. And uh, but this tree was planted, and friends, you got to understand when when these. Well, you don't have to understand nothing. We don't want to. I'm just going to tell it to you, anyways. Uh, these trees, like these big trees, this is 140. Did you say, John? 140. That, that's why we think it's not a black walnut because the black walnuts didn't show up until there was intercontinental transportation. That's right. This so this is super cool in the tree world. Yeah. For us tree weirdos. Um. This is an amazing piece of wood. There's just no doubt about it. No two ways of freaking about it. And the maple over there, it, Rob, come on. You don't see that every freaking day. That's the stump cut. Yeah, that's solid. And it's sound. Yeah. Like, honestly, friends, you don't see that every day. Usually, you well, not usually. I shouldn't say usually, but you can get uh, rock, big holes and, and, and everything. But look at this thing. And, and the, the, you know what I noticed right away? is the consistency of grain like no 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 tightness no no blasts no slowdowns just very consistent all the way through which is which is beautiful um so friends we got some amazing pieces of wood here and they called me up to run the run the dumb end we call it i get to run the dumb end of this 19 uh, well i don't know what year yeah, it is probably late 70s F figure hey johnny it's, a, it's an early or, model it is a eh? yeah yeah oh nine oh friends uh rob's a lover of the power saw I, we call him power saw rob and i mean look at the man how could he not like power saws <laughs> look at the son of a gun rob how long is this bar seven feet it's seven foot yeah friends robbie's running a seven foot bar he's running full house chain but if you get your raker set on a on a on a on a full house round tooth friends not not chisel chain round chain at five degrees you're off to the races set up john lore i'm so excited you called robbie appreciate it this isn't an everyday occurrence okay john let's take a couple minutes and, and let's tell the folks what we think all right so what we know is that this the property this tree grew on was uh once owned by sir james douglas Wow. who is the father of BC. Yes, he is. First governor of BC. He came uh, up to Canada to work for the uh, Hudson Bay Company. He uh, had a lot to do with founding of Victoria, Vancouver, and San Francisco. Yes. Wow. I didn't know about San Francisco. That's very interesting. And then he, uh, he married a Cree woman. Really? Yeah. So his children were, you know, Quarter Cree, quarter French, quarter Scottish, and quarter Black. Yeah. The, the quintessential Canadians. Yes, exactly. The 57. Yeah. We have blabbed on for long enough. It is time to fire up a bar saw. Because Rob's chomping. I'm chomping. We'll get you set up. John Lore, thank you again. Uh, we're excited. Was there anything else, John, that, that we should... Just that, that this is probably his son... Just, Probably Douglas's son, also James Douglas, probably planted this thing. That's, Would, all, that's, that's all I got. Yeah, which is quite a bit, John, to be honest. I mean, that, that's amazing, friends. Well, and that, and that the, uh, the acorn probably came on a ship from England. From England, yeah. That's the only other way to, the only way they got here at that time. Yeah, there, there was a lot of that. Yeah, there was a lot of that, friends. The captains of the ships brought them over. So that's cool. Okay, we're going to get flashing. Rob, thanks. You ready to rock? Yep. Ready Let's do rock. it. Let's okay, don't make too much noise, eh? We'll try to keep it down. The old I know looks pretty tame. Yeah. Okay, friends. Talk to you in a bit. Hey, we're fired up on this girl here. All right. Oh, yeah. No, I'll go in first, Rob.
want that, Rob? Yeah. It'll get us out of the cut anyway. Yeah. There we go. Let's, uh, oh. Yeah, I'll have to tighten that up. Looks a little bit loose. Yeah. Well, friends, yeah, we'll get, we'll show you what we got there in a minute. First cut done. Good stuff, friends. This is so fun. Uh, I'm really grateful for the call down on this. You, you see what I'm saying about Johnny? Like he, this, this is no game for him. Everything's numbered. Everything's computerized. I, I, I do business with a man like this any day. And I do business with the backyard guy any day. It's a feeling you get from the wood man. If he's sound or not. As sound as his wood. You gotta be sound. Sound in business. Sound sound mind sound spirit that's where sound comes from the word sound wood it does friends it comes from that from wood being sound the sound of wood the timber it's much more than a lot of people think i'm gonna give him a hand are we grabbing the fork i'll grab the fork okay Okay, so here's our first cut, friends. Riddled in sawdust, as you can see. And there will be, you bet, there will be, oh yeah, no, it's, it's, it's actually phenomenal. It's literally, oh my dear Lord. It's Look at it, Rob. Part of my it, it's actually darker than I thought. Yeah. You got greens and blondes in here, right? Yeah. Phenomenal. Look at that limb. See, that's that great big limb right there. Oh yeah. Look at the size of it though. You know, Rob, I'll be honest, not a bad cut. Not a bad cut at all. You know, right where we stop is where you get the... Dude! Look at that. This is my favorite part right here, right now. <laughs> that is freaking amazing. That's unbelievable. There's sapwood in her. Unbelievable. You should see this thing, John. The smell is... Next, next oh, it, yeah, it's kind of uh, dog food. Yeah, but it, it sure turned up nice, John. My favorite part is second to you guys doing all the work. I was just saying, <laughs> this is my favorite part. Actually, it turned I just out said pretty it to flat. Him. Yeah, I said, this is my favorite part when we get to, you know, each one. Is that right, John? Is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. Keep peeling each layer off? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, obviously, the outside is most snow. You do get, especially in the maples, that's where you really get your craziness. Okay. Friends, I need to interject. I just need to for one second. Friends, as I sit here and make these videos on a Sunday morning and, and, and being on this project, friends, Sir James Douglas, for me to be on this, like I light up. This is where I light up in the wood. I, I just... To be part of a project like this, like I, I'm a little cuckoo, I, I I get it, I am. But listen, friends, this the message is that I want to get across is is do what your spirit lights up with, do 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 those things. It's your freaking life, friends. All I wanted to do when I got my head on straight when I was 27 year old man uh, is is run a power saw. That that's all I knew. I was happy on. And I was not here to be unhappy anymore. I had suffered enough by my own doing, friends. No one done nothing to me. I did it to me. The choices I made put me in a position where I almost took myself out a couple times. And then when I, when I got my head on, I almost got taken out again by living my passion too. So you don't know what's going down and what's going to come down the pike at you. But you might as well enjoy and, and, and light your spirit up while you're here. It just makes you a nicer person to be around, I think. Friends, follow your dreams. Back to this show, but I just wanted to interject. Do those things that, that lights up your spirit. 
I used to put that into words all the time in the videos. I'm going to start doing that again. Welcome to the newcomers. Let's get back on this Wally. Actually, that turned out to be a really nice flat cut. You know what? There's nothing wrong with that, Rob. That's a long bar. It, it, I'm, I'm happy with the way it cut. I mean, yeah, we've tried, we've tried, you know, that in like this and then catch the power head up and it's, it works. You get stuff done. Yeah, it's a beautiful oval table right there. It's, it's unreal. That's beautiful. So it's pretty good for the first cut. Money, Not bad. Money piece out of that. Right yeah, now. that's right. Yeah. That's good. Johnny's laying it down with water. Oh, it's starting to jump already. He's going to give it a sweep. Oh, I see everything starts just popping. Oh, thanks, Rob. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, those will work. Look at that, friend. See, you don't, you don't see the colors until you get that going on. Look at that. There you go. Wow. Holy macaroni and cheese mixed in. Yeah, it's nice. That's real nice, actually. Good. So friends, this is the the other chain. We broke the one chain and he had this other chain. He just threw it on. We, we threw it on the saw and went for it. And unfortunately, it just, it didn't look terrible, but on that long of a chain, when you've got a slight dusting all the way across the teeth on the, every, it, it just wasn't cutting. You can see it here. So we shut her down and I file it. Well, friends, we ran into a little snaggeroni. We broke the good cutting chain, and then Rob had this. He had it in the in the shed here, but it's been a while. And what it looks like is we threw a raker gauge on it, and it looks like it's uh, it's a bit dull to begin with. And the rakers are are high, friends. They're high. So it's a little bugger getting in, but I can just get in. I just, it's more of a pull than a push right now. Other side, friend. There's a little hole right here for me if I want. Nothing wrong with this. Nice little hole, nice and close to the power head. It's much easier on this side of the mill doing this. Just popping up the top corner on this saw. This will go quick this side. Much easier. Those are done. There we go.
that okay? That was a good cut. Okay, good. That thing was spitting bigger chips than that last chain. It was. Oh yeah, yeah. man, like look at it. And it wasn't, yeah, no, it, it seemed like it was pulling. Yeah, it was. It, was it, felt, it felt better in your hand? Okay, good. <clears throat> good. Let me go grab my uh, flipper. <sighs> Sounds good. Big piece of wood, Robert. Yeah. I mean, especially for just hand, you know, hand filing. <laughs> I mean, you know, really. Yeah. I'll leave that run because I want to see this at the fork. That was a, so we ran into some issues, friends. We had, like, we busted the chain. You saw that, right? We busted uh, the chain. And then I had to file up the other one, like seven feet of chain, full house. <laughs> Thinking back, we, we probably could have gone skip tooth here, but you get that full house cut and it cuts. I don't think so. No, it was just a chain got tied. Yeah, dry. you're right. Oh, nope. wait a minute. Right there. But, and, but we did, but we, what? A little bit of hardware. Oh, yeah, there is. You're right. Yeah, a little bit of fencing. Oh, this is unreal. I'm going to give you some water. This ain't bad, bro. Look at that. Wait till the next one's. Johnny with a text. There's the walnut, friends. I mean, I just don't know what to say. Look at the figure. Yeah, there. I mean, look at it. Now we're getting into it. This is a special, special tree, man. What an honor to work on this thing for me, Rob. That's I mean, what? well... Douglas? I, I appreciate you coming out to take a look at it and help me with it. No troubles, buddy. You know? I mean, I knew it was, uh, we talked about it. Oh, there he is right there. See the bloody wood bug. He can sense it's happening. He doesn't even have to say anything to him. Look at it, John. This was nice. Beauty. Got a little bit of hardware down there. Some fencing. That's it. Some small fencing. That's almost like chicken wire. It's exactly what it was. Yeah, it's not. That is. Look at right there. <laughs> I'd be hitting that regularly. That's pretty nice. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to get off this maple. This maple's going to be cuckoo, too. We got the wash coming out for a snack here now. This is all that eke, friends. Remember that eke? It's, it's nuts. What do you have, four, uh, three, almost four foot? A little over four foot? 52. Yep, look at that. Pretty, eh? Super good. That's a nice cut, too. You know what? I was good. I was wondering what the filing was gonna be like yeah. with that raker gauge, but I, there was nothing wrong with that. No. It was throwing chip like mad. Yeah, it was no sawdust. Like the last one was kind of sawdusty. This one here was a lot of chip. Yeah, it's interesting. This this lighter color. It's not bad, John? I wonder if we, Rob, I wonder if yeah, that's we're a little 
because the power heads here, do you ever run into that where you, you get out the end and the power head's a little bit thicker on, on the on the power head side? Yes. You're especially on a big long cut like this, you gotta and especially with the guy on the on the power head, he, he tends to just almost drop a bit. Yeah. And it's really hard to, to, to remember to almost stay up on the saw when you're yeah, cutting. Yeah. It's a lot of weight pulling down there. But even with that long bar you'd think you, you wouldn't you know what? Three and a quarter or Three and three quarters, three and three quarters, three and three quarters, three and three quarters. You're kidding me. No. Well, there you go. Then then it's perfect, friends. Did you hear that? It's three and three quarters in all corners. So that's that's a bonus. Well, you gotta, you'd think so, but with the three, four feet of bar in there, like where can it go? Exactly. So that is wonderful. Well, that's, that's lovely. Good stuff. Happy, happy. Yeah, I, I'm just, Mr. Mr. Tickled because of uh, the property it came from. I mean, the botanist. Yeah, it's clear. It's was, it, was it David D Douglas? No, James, James, James Douglas. Douglas, pardon me, James Douglas, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's four and four foot three or something crazy. Yeah, four. You just said 53 inches, did you say? 52 inches. 50 without the bark. Can you throw so it out there again, please? 50, so it's, it's. That's at the wide There point. we go, yeah. Good four footer. Beautiful. That's four and a half in the cookhouse, friends. Huh? <laughs> On the camp show up in Pointe Bay. I'll be saying it's five foot. All oh, sure, way. we were cutting five foot half. <laughs> I've, 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 you know, walnut there, ah. Uh. James Douglas, his boy planted that back in 1862. He probably did. That's the, not the funny thing about it. It's not a no joke. I'll bet you that acorn came from England. 1880. 1880, which is... Yeah, which is right in the settlement a little bit. Or when, when was Victoria? I know Nanaimo was kind of mid to late, right? Yeah. Victoria was... Nanaimo then, I don't think. Cause, Victoria was the first. Yeah, which was... When did they found Victoria? Mid? Uh, I just little, was looking at that yesterday, uh, but it would have uh, probably been about 1850. Exactly, later. that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Because an animal definitely was later. Okay, friends, you know what? Uh, Time we, for a donut, friends. Oh, it's a donut. Fucking gets a donut for his efforts. I love it. that one? No, I can't eat that stuff. Cool. We broke a chain, friends. Broke a chain. Rob took off down to get another link put in that one. When he was gone, I got on the, the seven foot bar and filed it. How many links to file? Did you count them? 200 and 225 drivers. So, wonder how many teeth? 140 or something? I would say so. We could count, but it's not that big of a deal about it. Quite a few. Lots. Let's put it this way, it's 14 feet of chain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. It's good, eh? It's really good, John. Look at that, friend. You know, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Sometimes it dives off, it's like the last four inches. You, you got it, John. Yeah, you got it. Friends. I gotta go. Get packed up and hit the road. John, once again, always a pleasure. Thanks for your help. It's, it's my pleasure. John, what, what was your, your website again? That where folks can buy a piece of this and get you to make them a wonderful table and ship it to them. www.liveedgedesign.com I love it. Now, I've got some, some, hey, my Australian and New Zealand friends. Who was I talking to? Remember we were talking about maybe shipping something up here? Wouldn't that be neat, John? Piece from New Zealand? Let's look, let's let's work on that for Johnny. Okay. Uh, we love you all, friends. Be kind to one another. Keep it rolling. She's getting shinier. I can feel it. It is. It's getting way shinier. This little thing we've been dealing with is passing on by. I can feel it in the in the air. So let's keep rolling. Keep being kind to one another. See you, fellas.
uh, my air conditioning here. 